Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sebelius and FamilyTravelPhotos.com. This short episode will show you how to bind your Q500 to an SD10 Plus transmitter. This episode is part of a series of videos designed to help you fly your Q500 quadcopter. This episode applies to the unique Q500 Plus, Typhoon G, and Q500 4K quadcopters. Let's get started with episode 12, Binding the Q500. Binding is the process where you connect a Q500 with one specific transmitter. This way, your stick commands will only influence your Q500 and not any other aircraft in the area. Your Q500 will come from the factory bound to its transmitter. However, there are several situations where you may need to rebind the two. Some of these situations include when you do a firmware update, when you want to connect your quad to another transmitter, or vice versa. After you've been flying with the Unique Wizard, when you send in your aircraft to Unique for servicing. Let's go through the process of binding your Q500. Notice that I'm doing this inside. You don't have to be outside or connected to satellites to perform the binding. Start by booting your Q500. You see a blinking blue light. That means the Q500 doesn't see a transmitter that it's bound to. Now, tilt the Q500 forward 45 degrees two times. This puts the aircraft in binding mode, shown by the quickly blinking yellow light. Now boot up the transmitter. Click the Model Select button along the bottom. See your aircraft listed there? Push and hold on that icon and an option will appear to edit or delete. Choose Delete. Now choose New Model. Hit the Type button and select your type of Q500. In this case, a Q500+. Plus. This opens a screen where you give your Q500 a name. When finished, hit Done, and then hit Done again. Hit Save and back out to the main screen. Now, let's make sure we have the right type of camera selected. Click Flight Settings and choose Camera Select. Scroll through the list and make sure CGO3 Pro is selected. Back out. Choose the top menu, Bind. You'll see two columns, one for aircraft and one for the camera. Select the camera name in white text in the left column. When the connection is established, hit OK. Now choose camera name in the right column in the white text. When the connection is established, hit OK. Now back out to the main screen and you should be bound. You should see the camera's view from your aircraft on your transmitter screen. If you reboot the aircraft and are not bound to the transmitter, repeat the binding process. This concludes episode 12 of my video series for the unique Q500 owner. I've also posted links to other videos below. Be sure to watch these to learn more about flying your Q500 drone. Please help me by hitting the like button below. That's how you help my channel grow so I can make more videos like this for you. It also helps if you subscribe and you'll be notified when I release more videos in the future. Your comments and ideas for future videos are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.